Wow, do we have some smashing people coming down the red carpet. One of the most sought after people on social media. I'll have her next. All right, I'm here with Jojo Siwa. That's and me. oh my gosh. And gosh, you are so gorgeous in real life. Obviously, Thank you look you so terrific on the screen too. Thank you. Thank you. I um I really appreciate that. Thank you. Well, you know what? Good living, good health. I mean, it definitely shows. I uh, I just was wearing this hairstyle in the gym before I got here. This one, oh, I love this little hairstyle. I couldn't decide if I wanted it all down or all up tonight, and we, we ended up going all up. Well, you're all sporty and all glamorous all at one time, and the, it is kind of your signature it's like stuff. Pop funk. I'm here for it. Yes. Okay. So please tell me, how did you decide that? this was it you were going to just go for it all out I mean you do have what do you have like 17 million people on Instagram Instagram uh not quite 17 on Instagram Instagram I think I think like 11 point something on Instagram 11 point something million which is only 10 more than me <laughs> yeah. um TikTok though is TikTok my TikTok following is crazy TikTok's like 40 something million Snapchat's millions it's crazy unreal and you're so talented. I've seen you dance, and you're wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank and you. So give us a little bit of what it's like to be you and how people can emulate you and use some of your success in their own life. You know, I think once you know what you want to do in life, you have to take that and run with it. You have to put all your time, effort, and energy into making sure that your career is where you want it to be, but also that your personal life is where you want it to be. That's something that I'm newly finding the balance of, is making sure I'm personally happy and career life happy. Well, I am a psychologist by education, and I have written a lot of books, but I'm just going to tell you, I feel your energy, Thank you. and it's great. Thank you. It's great. I feel somebody who really likes herself. Thank you. Maybe loves herself, you know, likes, loves. Sometimes we... I'm still a 20-year-old girl. So sometimes we don't like ourselves. Sometimes we don't love ourselves. Listen, I think I will forever be the hardest on myself, and I think that's a natural human thing. I think if people... I think you got to be honest with yourself, and you got to know the balance. And that's a lot of wisdom for a 20-year-old. Thank you. <laughs> I've been around a few blocks. <laughs> I bet you have. Well, it's wonderful to have you here tonight. Is there any more that you want to share? Why don't you give us a health tip? I mean, you obviously are in fabulous shape. A health tip? My, my, my viewers love that. You know, a, a health tip. This one time, this dad asked me. He had maybe like an 11-year-old girl. And I was in the gym, and he came into the gym. And he was like, hey, tell my daughter that she needs to work out. And I looked at him, and I looked at his daughter, and I I told him straight up, I said, I think she's perfect the way she is. And I think if she feels with herself that she wants to work out, then absolutely she should. But I don't think anyone should put pressure on anyone else to work out, to eat a certain way. We only get one life. No matter what, this life ends whenever, and we never know when it's coming. So if, if there's a day where you need to eat 12 donuts, which I've had those days, Eat those 12 donuts, and if there's a day that you need to spend it in the gym and sweat, that's also good too. Just It's it's balance, and it's about making sure that every day you're happy with yourself, because at the end of the day, only the moment matters. JoJo, I, I really agree with you. I really agree that we should let people eat what they want and do what they want, as long as they're not hurting somebody else. That, exactly that. Because sometimes we need to do that. Sometimes you just gotta listen. Whenever I, I, whenever I mentally go a little sad, I eat donuts and it works. Okay. And you know what I always say: suffering is optional, and life is what you make it. Period. Hannah Montana said it. Life's what you make it, so let's make it rock. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Jojo. Have a terrific night. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Lorna Luft and being honored tonight and this is just a fabulous occasion year after year. Is this your first one? This is my first one and I have to say that this is so perfect and pride is something that I am so, it's, it's so personal to me, okay? And, and I think that we should all remember 
how we must all get along with each other every single day and not just wait till June. And not just make, we all have to understand that we have to be inclusive. Right. And it's bigger than that because there is a mental health crisis going on right now. People feel very alone. Yeah, they do. But if, 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 if you know someone and you know that you can get someone help make that phone call, don't leave them alone. Just make that phone call because if you know someone and you know how you can help another human being, do it. Well, I just did something just about exactly what you just said last week for YouTube. I did. And you are obviously very successful with people. I mean, you've been on lots of different primetime TV shows. You've had a lot of great parts that have been recurring. And, of course, your mother is Judy Garland, and her ruby slippers are right in this door. You've seen that, right? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. It's, it's a wonderful party. It's a wonderful event. Do you have any other words of wisdom for us? I, the only words of wisdom that, that, that I have is it's a little frightening out there right now, okay? And I just feel that we can't go backwards. We have to keep going forwards. And hopefully, at some point, we all can make all of our troubles melt like lemon drops. Well, very well said. And uh, I know it's in your blood. Yes, it is. All right. Well, thank you so much. And I hope you'll enjoy this. I enjoy it year after year. And you're going you're gonna to love it. It's a love fest. I wish you all could be here with us. Oh, thank you very, very, right. very much. Thank you. Thank you, Lorna. Wow, you know what I always say, suffering is optional. Life is what you make it.